gentlemen, it's your boy Mongoose Montgomery, and today we're going to be going over proper footwork and stances. I remember I mentioned it a couple of times before in some other videos, but today we're going to be going over footwork, stances, how you should be when a moment of combat is about to take place. You should be relaxed, get ready to go. So make sure you have all your equipment, make sure you have all the proper shoes. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, sliding in your stance, it should be now, this view is giving you the side angle of what it looks like to step into your stance. As you see, you want to have a nice base. Always have a nice base. Make sure you're able to look down and see your toes. You just slide right into it. Do it smoothly. Don't do it fast and abrupt. This is the side view. Now, I'm going to give you good examples of the front view. Before I give you the front view, I have to give another side view example. Make sure you don't have a wide base. Make sure you always have your front foot forward and the back foot playing the anchor. Just in case you get pushed, you don't move far or you don't move at all. Make sure the front foot is slightly planted while the back foot is strong in the ground off the heel as the anchor. Now here, what I'm trying to demonstrate is just stepping into your stance. You don't want to do it like that, that's bad. Don't do it abrupt, they'll see it coming. Slide right into your stance, do it easy. Do it slow, see? Slide right into it. Easy step, easy step. This is bad, not fast. Easy, easy. Just take your right foot, get comfortable on the back foot, and just slide right into it like this, bam. Now you're already slid into your stance. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. And your hands you want to be around your nose, not too close to your nose because you can get punched. And your fucking glove or your hand and not back into your nose. So make sure that your hands are just underneath your eyes, a couple inches away from your nose. You want to have them up, just like this. Not closed though, because you want to be able to parry, knock down, slide, and get ready to pivot. We're going to demonstrate that in the next video. Now you're already slid into your stance. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed and your hands want to be around your nose, not too close to your nose because you can get punched. And your fucking glove or your hand can knock back into your nose. So make sure that your hands are just underneath your eyes, a couple inches away from your nose. You want to have them up just like this. Not closed though, because you want to be able to parry, knock down, slide, and get ready to pivot. We're going to demonstrate that in the next video. Now, so check this out. You see how I'm all tight, tense. Everything's coming all awkward, a lot slower, expensed. Can't really relax. You know, everything's all tight. I can't really punch. Now I'm gonna show you what it's like to punch a little more relaxed. It's the relaxed vibe. Everything's more natural. It's faster. Straight down the ceiling line. You know, not breathing hard. I'm able to relax. I'm able to punch. I'll take my time. Step into it without exalting all this extra energy. Okay? Remain relaxed at all times. Control the pace. This is me showing you what it's like to fight tight. It's the front view. You see how everything looks forced? Everything looks slower. Anticipating where the bag is going to go. I'm not flowing with the reflex bag, right? Everything looks uncoordinated. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like relaxed from the front view. Watch the cadence. You see that? Watch the snap and the punch. Everything looks faster, more natural. Natural unnaturalness is what you're aiming for. Don't let your punches and your attacks become forced. When you start to force an attack, you're easily to be anticipated and intercepted. Take your time. Look for the direct and correct punches at all times. Everything should be easy and natural. I know what you're thinking. This dude just say natural unnaturalness? Correct. I got that quote from the late, great Bruce Lee. I've been using his style and his footwork and his base and in my style, having no way as way, having no limitation as limitation, just being free. See, 
In this video, I'm working on my A and B steps. My A step will be my step to the right. B step will be me working to the left. Positive step will be me coming forward and a negative step will be me stepping back. Taking my time, working different angles in this. Shout out to the late great Bruce Lee because without your influence, I wouldn't even be doing this. And shout out to you guys for viewing this. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love, y'all.